Hey everyone, today I've got the other side of the door movie review. A woman becomes consumed with guilt after the death of her son from a tragic accident and now she uh, decides to, uh, f you know, figure out a way to communicate with him because she just misses him so much. But something freaky happens and a portal opens to uh, bridge both worlds. As far as the story goes, this is a movie that is set in an international location, and I feel like it's the first that I've seen in a long time, uh, as far as horror movies go, set in a foreign country where uh, there just seems to be a lot of scary situations going on. This family is still trying to cope with the loss of their son, and they have a daughter also to take care of, and this couple just is dealing with all of this pain, and this one woman is sort of going out of her way to talk to these people who are you know, who she thinks will help her uh, try to be able to communicate with, you know, her son's spirit. Little does she know is that, you know, there could be a consequence to her actions, uh, which leads to far more uh, horrific things. But I personally wouldn't say that the result of it was as scary, though this movie I felt like you know, I heard about it out of the blue, and I heard of a few people who saw this movie, and this came out in the beginning of March, so I just wanted to see what it was all about. As far as the casting goes, you've got Sarah Wayne Callis, who plays this mother and this wife, and I feel like she doesn't always have a lot to work with in this movie, and I feel like I can't take her seriously at times uh, with what she has to go through and what she is facing and I just don't take her as seriously though I have seen her in other movies and TV shows like The Walking Dead in the past and I feel like maybe those worked well for her but this just I was not as impressed. You've got Jeremy Sisto who I feel like he does well with certain uh, acting performances though I feel like in this movie he was very underplayed so I feel like he didn't deliver as much of an impact with this movie. As uh, far as that little scary boy that's in this movie you know when he pops up yeah he is scary but I honestly didn't jump when I saw him and I just you know almost felt like laughing while you know watching his performance and in a movie like this it's a horror movie you're not supposed to laugh you're supposed to be freaked out and run away scared that did not happen here the reason why this is a bad love review contender is because i was just very let down by this movie and i couldn't really stand all the events and situations that were unfolding in this film and I was really looking forward to seeing if this movie was going to be scary because I am a horror movie fan like I always say but this movie just really didn't do it for me so I was left disappointed. Now the things that I didn't really like about this movie like I said it's not that scary uh, there are different people that pop up here and there that aren't the little boy and it's just really confusing with certain things that are going on. I almost feel like there are other scary movies out there that are twice as good as this. There are almost some similar situations where I feel like I've heard, uh, where I've seen a movie like this before, but not in this manner. So I th honestly think you could do a lot better with seeing this movie. Overall, I would say that The Other Side of the Door was really a letdown for me. I was not scared by it at all. I actually fell asleep a couple times <laughs> watching this movie. That's how boring it is. So I would not recommend seeing this movie at all. I would give this two hearts on the heart rate scale. So. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the other side of the door 
And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.